sun had burned bright for thousands of millennia. Something went wrong and Sol began to expand. People of Earth united in a desperate race against time. Scorched Earth was imminent. Four ships were built. Called them Arks. Hope of finding a new home, we divided among each ship as much of the human race as could possibly be sustained for a 15-year journey. The Arks, Pegasus II, Phoenix, Scorpion III, and Hydra explored the darkest reaches to no avail. Our Arks were in tatters. They were not built to survive as long as they had. Just as we thought all hope was lost, we were rewarded in our efforts. We found a system that until that day had not been discovered. Each Ark chose a planet and thus began the new lives of our people. We named these planets Dash, Demos, Osis, Hydros. We took to our new home swiftly. Before long, we would adapt and thrive in our new worlds. It is time to prove you're among the chosen ones. Are you prepared? I'm afraid of failing the test. The only failure is the failure to try. Tonight, we feast in honor of our champion. Are you willing to sacrifice your own brother to achieve your goals? Mother, father, 
I feel I can serve our people, our kingdom better as champion of Hydros. If I am victorious, Hydros will rule all new earth, and- Are you certain you feel this calling, my child? With no doubts or reservations, father. I have already summoned the academy. I forbid it. You cannot forbid it. It is my right under the law. The collector is here for me. I will represent you well. Send in the collector. We, the inhabitants of these planets, collectively called New Earth, were on the brink of an interplanetary war. We found a solution for peace, a sport involving weaponized vehicles competing in a long distance land races had reached mass popularity. The leaders of each planet formed a treaty stating, every two years, a race would take place involving three racers from each planet competing for the ultimate prize. That prize, governing leadership of New Earth until the next race. The race would be known as the Turbotron, named for the man who voiced the solution to the impending wars, Egrin Tronis. We interrupt our regular programming to bring you some breaking news. The Turbotron Advanced Racing Academy is about to announce its finalists for this 25th biannual championship. The winner will present their home planet with ruling authority over all other planets, of New Earth for the next two years. We take you now live to Terra Press Conference, already in progress on the Neutral Summer Station. Tronus quickly found the flaw in the new system. The richer, more advanced planets dominated each Turbotron. In an attempt to better New Earth, and to even the odds for all planets, he gathered together benefactors from each planet and built an academy. This academy would provide equal training and equal equipment to each planet's champion. I was the first grand champion of New Earth, and I am now proud to introduce to you the best current racers from each planet. Ladies and gentlemen, lords and ladies, I give to you the champion elite. Carafi of the culture. Nala of Venus, Daya of Hydrus, and Kiri of Dash. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, champions, please take your seat as we prepare to take our first question. You. Yes, champions, hello. You and your teams have a grueling three days ahead. How does one deal with such pressure? Oh, well, I've been drinking on screen. What are your predictions for tomorrow's I'd race? I'd like to say one deals with pressure by making cheap jokes to distract from her inevitable failures. I predict. I know a focus will once again rise to victory amongst the others. I guess, out of kindness, I could call them champions. A Foster's will soon see what Hydrus is capable of. However, I cannot point that your theme to stay around to see the shame of her feet. The important thing is that we are all good among friends, you know what say? Each of us has sacrificed much in preparation. In doing so, attention on side today. The race will decide who's worthy of this day or not. Ladies, gentlemen, please, please, can we have some order? Thank you. Well, as you can see, this year's champions are more than prepared for the Turbotron. And tomorrow, the 25th Turbotron seems destined to go down in history. Which planet do you think will be victorious? Which one do you want to be victorious? Does it matter to you? Should it? It wouldn't. None of this is real. 
was all created by a group of writers and a team of filmmakers. But what if it wasn't? But what if it wasn't? 